Hi everyone, this is Rohit from Robosep.in and in and today we'll see how to interface 7 in 1 NPK sensor with Raspberry Pi. So first we'll see the different components which are required. So here we need Raspberry Pi, one power adapter, USB cable, converter board, DC jack and 7 in 1 NPK sensor. So there are various models of 7 in 1 NPK sensor available. So this one works properly with Raspberry Pi. So the links to all these components are available in the description of this video. So you can purchase directly from robosub.in. Now we'll see the connections. So NPK sensor, it has got four pins. So yellow color, blue color, brown color and black color. So brown color and black color, brown is positive. You need to con connect it to the positive of the DC jack over here. Black one is negative. You need to connect it to the negative. So from black, you need to take two separate wires to make the common ground. So here on the converter board you have E, B and minus. So first we will connect the common ground that is nothing but the black wire. So we will make the connections. So here we have connected the ground. After that we will connect the yellow wire to A. and blue wire to B. So here we have connected one DC jack and the converter board. Now we will provide the power to the DC jack. We have connected the or we have provided the power to the DC jack. So this converter board, you need to connect it to the USB port of Raspberry Pi. So here we have used Raspberry Pi 5. So this is available for sale on our website. You can use any other version as well. Which is Raspberry Pi 3, 4 or 5. With all the versions of Raspberry Pi, this is compatible. So now, till now we have connected the power board. We have connected the converter board. We have connected the power adapter to the NPK sensor. And we have also connected the converter module to Raspberry Pi using the USB cable. So now we'll see the code and the output of the project. Now we'll see the demonstration. So first we'll, we have taken the soil sample over here. So first we'll insert the NPK sensor inside the soil sample. So we have immersed it properly. We have also connected the power to the outlet. Now what we'll do is we'll run the code and see the output from the sensor. So the code is written in Python and we are running it on Raspberry Pi. So when I run the code, so you can see, here it is showing, moisture is 95, temperature is 24, conductivity 373, pH 8.2 and values of NPK are printed properly. So whenever you get a valid response from the sensor, all those values will be printed properly. So if you want to purchase the components, so to link the link to purchase all the components is available in the description of this video.